marriage what a beautiful thing if there are things that people look forward to growing up uh, it is marriage and uh, the bible has clearly defined what marriage is and what we need to look for when you go back to the text genesis chapter 2 and the verses 18 the bible says then the lord god said it is not good for the man to be alone i will make him a helper suitable for him now when you go to the creation account he created the beasts of the earth and he said it was good he created the, 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 all the fish and he said it was good. He, he put the firmaments, he put the sun, he put whatever it was there and he said it was good. In other words, God creates things in perfection. But after everything, he even created Adam. He looked at Adam, everything was okay, but there was something that was missing. That's why the text is saying, then the Lord said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I want to challenge the brothers who are out there. It is not good for you to be alone. Those who are not married, it is not good for you to be alone. For the text says, I will make a suitable helper for him. There's a key word there, suitable. So in other words, not anything goes, but there is someone who is suitable for you according to what God has placed out there. There is a woman out there who is suitable for you and all the ladies who are out there as well. I want to mention it to you today that God has made it a point that we need to get married. We need a helper. We need a partner. In other words, there is someone who is also suitable for you out there. The text is very clear. I have one favorite uh, Christian writer by the name Ellen White. She says, even communion with the angels would not have satisfied Adam. Hey, what, 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 what a powerful point. In other words, dear friends, even when the angels surrounded Adam, even communion with God being so close that he would just dial and speak to God directly, such communion was still not enough for Adam to be satisfied, then God created Eve. God created a helper suitable for him. In other words, marriage is an ordained institution created by God. And within the right parameters, there are things that come with marriage. Sex, the communion, and everything else, dear friends, it is blessed within the institution. How I want to challenge you all. Uh, that when God created Adam and Eve for them to be a family, God also created the male and female. In other words, the marriage institution as blessed by God, it is a partnership between a male and a female. What a loving God that we have who created such an institution. God bless you.